Hey squad, welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews. I'm back with another magic review for you and today we're going to be taking a look at Louis Laval, The Art of Knowing, Part 2. This is an updated handling of his original The Art of Knowing and if you guys remember on my top 5 business card peaks I did mention The Art of Knowing as a notable mention as a drawing duplication for multiple spectators. Now this routine that started out as a simple drawing duplication for multiple spectators is now a full mind reading system. Let's take a look at it. You're asking me if you'll go to Australia before you're, before you're, before you're, before you're 40. Is that right? Yeah? <laughs> and the truth is, absolutely you will, but only you can make it happen. And so, Warwick, I don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't go to this new place and be absolutely happy. Thank you. Thank you. That's exactly what I needed to hear. That's exactly Thank what you needed to hear. What is the place though? <laughs> Cambodia. So imagine this. You walk up to one person, two people, three, four, five, it doesn't matter. You hand each person a blank business card and you ask them to write down an important piece of information about their life. This could be a question that they would like an answer to, it could be an interesting fact about themselves, or it could even be a drawing of something that's important to them. Not only can you identify which card belongs to which person, but you can also reveal all of the information on the cards. For example, if a spectator has asked you a question, not only can you reveal the question, you can also provide them with an intriguing answer. I'll also share with you a few methods and a few ideas of how you can even begin to reveal information that your spectators are only thinking of. It is finally here, it is finally ready. My name is Louis Laval and this is Art of Knowing 2. Okay, so the Art of Knowing is a mentalism routine that involves pseudo-psychometry as well as mind reading for multiple spectators. And this routine has gone through about five years of updating. Louis Laval got a bunch of feedback from different people and then he decided to revamp it. And I'll tell you guys that I think that the biggest overhaul was really in the handlings because people were not happy that there was a second deal involved in the original handling. Now the reason why I even mention that out loud is because people have openly written in the review section on Penguin about that the, there's no longer a second deal involved. So I'm not exposing anything that has not already been put out there for you guys to check out. So this product is $20, it's put out by Penguin Magic, and for that you're gonna get two video downloads, which is over two hours of video instruction on this routine, along with ideas in general about mentalism, and you're also gonna get a 20-page PDF uh, that goes over his graphology system, that is to interpret handwriting, as well as how to interpret uh, drawings that he, he includes with this. So you're getting an overwhelming amount of uh, material for your $20 overall. So as always, I'm gonna give you guys some basic ideas of this, my own thoughts. I'm gonna do a comparison between The Art of Knowing 2 and the original one, tell you why this one's a lot better and why you probably shouldn't even bother ever picking up the first one ever again now that you have this. So before we get started, I'm just gonna tell you guys I've gone through the ad copy extensively and I will tell you that this is pretty much honest as it is. Uh, there is one part here that is a little bit off and I will just mention that it says, with just some business cards or blank pieces of paper in a pen with no markings, no setup, no cleanup, and no difficult moves, you're able to blow the minds of people you meet any place, anywhere, and at any time. Where that's mostly true, the fact of the matter is that there is no handling that uses pure business cards. So that's kind of an unfortunate thing that was left out. He just uses blank card stock. There is no handling that is taught with a business card. That being said, the rest of this is totally true. So there's no gimmicks at play here and it's totally impromptu. You could do it at, at the moment's notice. It is what you would expect real mind reading to look like. You're using a, a couple pieces of blank cardstock, a pen, and nothing more. So it has a lot going for it overall. I just wanted to point out that one little inconsistency there because there really is no handling with business cards. Now, if you did pick up the original Art of Knowing, um, then you saw, then you also got as an extra on Penguin Magic, there was a handling by Jan Forster, which did use business cards. And in that handling, he pretty much did everything he could to get around having to do the second deal 
Um, and so that is a handling that a lot of people really liked a lot. In fact, I think it was also um, shared on the Magic Cafe. Uh, so I think you could also learn it there if you wanted to uh, in their Inner Secrets section. Uh, that being said, I'm going to tell you guys now what you could expect to find on the videos um, and then go over some questions you probably have about this product. So the first video is just the mechanics, which basically is the bare bones of the routine. He goes over very meticulously how to perform the routine. He goes over the pattern that he uses. So that way you can see the justification of every single movement. He has literally thought out every single move of the routine. He shows you how to prep the cardstock. Then he goes over the original handling of the art of knowing. So if you never had the original art of knowing, you will learn the original method here. Then he goes over just second dealing in general, gives you some ideas about it. And then he goes over two handlings that don't use any second dealing. And I think that the main reason for this was because he had gotten so much negative feedback because he had, because of the second dealing that he created these two handlings that don't use any second dealing. Um, and then finally, he does share uh, what he calls the art of knowing to master handling. And now this handling it is a combination of some of it doesn't use a second deal and the other parts do because the original handling used a lot of second dealing. And so he has eliminated a lot of that in this uh, ultimate master handling version. Although I will tell you, he does give you a couple handlings that don't use any second dealing at all. And if you had the original art of knowing, then you learned that uh, other handling by Jan Forster, which uses business cards and really doesn't use any real second dealing either. So that's something else for those people that did have the original one. Now, if you don't have the original, I don't think that you're missing anything really. And I would urge that you don't even bother with it. Just pick up this version. In fact, if you watch them side by side, you'll see how Louis Laval has matured a lot. He just looked like a little kid in the original Art of Knowing, and now he just looks a lot more sophisticated, a lot more confident, and his mentalism now is another level altogether uh, because in the original one, the way he revealed the information, he now stresses you do not reveal the information in that way, and he gives you a lot of tips. And you can see he's really thought this stuff out well. Now, the second video, which is about an hour long, is really the theory and the presentation of the routine. And he gives you a lot of tips in general about mentalism, how you can make your mentalism different from that of what you see commonly uh, all over on the internet. Um, and to really try to make it something special for your spectator. He also does go over the idea of answering questions in case you want to turn this into a Q&A act. Um, so he gives you some basic advice about how to do that overall and then some other ideas. Okay, so some questions that you probably have about this is how difficult is it to perform? And my, I think it's two out of five in difficulty. I think it's really easy to perform. There's no difficult moves at all. The only thing that you can consider a difficult move maybe is the second deal if you use that handling. Um, but because you're using blank side cardstock, nobody's going to even notice it. And it's like a necktied second deal, so it's really well hidden. But even if you're worried about that, you don't even have to use the second deal handling. You can use one of the other handlings. So that just eliminates that. You don't have to worry about that at all. So it's really easy to perform. Um, it's instantly repeatable if you're wondering about that. So you can repeat it instantly. There is no setup involved. There is no gimmicks involved at all. No types of gaffes at all. Uh, there are no discrepancies. In terms of angle restrictions, I'd say you just really can't have somebody behind you um, because they may see something. So you can't really have your spectators behind you. They have to be uh, really in front of you. There are no special cards used. You can use any type of blank card stock that you want to use. So that's a good thing. Um, and in terms of the teaching, I think the teaching is top notch um, and there's uh, multiple angles on there and it's taught really well. So I think that you're going to learn this uh, really easily and quickly. Now, the real, let's go over what are the real benefits of the art of knowing two over the art of knowing one. And I'm going to tell you guys, because I've made a list here of what I think makes the art of knowing two much more valuable than the original one. For starters, when you give your spectators the cards and you have them either draw something or write something, you're giving them many different options that originally he just told them to make a drawing. Now he's giving them different ideas so that way it's a lot easier for the spectator to think of something that they're going to put on that card and something meaningful really. Uh, the other thing is that the presentations have improved a lot. 
Um, every single movement, there's a reason for it, which is really good. And this is the type of thing that you want to learn because you don't want any kind of suspicious moves. Uh, the peaks that are involved are extremely well motivated and he's added something in this presentation which makes it so that way you have all the time in your world in the world to take a look at the information and yet it's all well motivated so it's very very clever I thought that was really good when I saw that I was really smiling I thought that was really sneaky and, and very well thought out um, and uh, besides that, I think that his ideas of really giving you more options with the different, either with, with or without the second deal, definitely people are gonna like that a lot because there's a lot of people that don't do that. Me, I don't have any problem with a second deal, but a lot of people are gonna feel like that all eyes are on them. They're not gonna feel comfortable doing that. Now, the other things that I wanna tell you guys are the really big advantages of the routine is that it's easy to perform it's logical, you immediately hand each card out to the person after you read the information on it. So there's no discrepancies at all, there's no gimmicks, it's totally impromptu, you're literally only using some blank card stock and a pen. It really looks like real mind reading. Um, so those are really the big positives there. Now the real negatives I would say is that one, you need a table to perform this, is really not something feasible to do without a table, without people sitting down. Um, although I guess you could do it standing next to them, is, but you need some area to put the cards. Um, the other thing is that there is not a handling that, in, that uses just regular business cards. I thought that that was unfortunate because it would have been really great if he had actually included a handling with business cards. That would have really made this complete. But with a little bit of thought, you can figure out how you could apply this to business cards. And like I had said earlier, if you have the original art of knowing, then you probably learn Jan Forster's handling, which you can also adapt to this routine as well. I think that this definitely is a huge leap forward for Louis Laval. I mean, he really has taken a simple drawing duplication and turned this into a mind reading system. Um, I really liked a lot the idea of the reason why he's looking at the cards because you've seen a lot of routines and I'll give you an example um, like uh, Bob Cassidy's Name and Place where you, you uh, read someone's mind and then you have to look at the billet or the card to verify what, what you just read and there has to be a good reason for that. And here he is given this reason of graphology which is a very, very clever reason because it's the idea that you're gonna tell the spectator something about their handwriting, which even makes more sense why you tell them to try to write neatly. Because you tell them, at the end I'm gonna tell you about, I'm gonna tell you something about yourself based on your handwriting. Very, very clever. He gives you his whole system of how to read handwriting in the PDF file that comes with this. So I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with that. I think that overall this is definitely worth uh, the $20. In fact, it's probably worth three times that. So I wouldn't hesitate to recommend this to you guys. As always, if you have any questions, just leave them below. And I hope that you guys are having a good week. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next review.